Let's talk for a second about losing a job before the interview even happens. It is possible, and it's happening to people now who don't even realize it, and in many cases, it's all because of their social media. So tonight, Jeff Paul explains what to look for in your own internet presence to help protect you at work. It's where we share our memories, our photos, and sometimes our opinions. But when it comes to social media, some of us might be sharing too much. We're not only looking at the types of comments that they're making, we're also looking for spelling, grammar. It's an online resume. Job recruiter Jolene Risch says when a new applicant comes in, she starts with Google. Who they are 24 hours a day is important to the company. She then checks the obvious places, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Risch watches for unprofessional photos. Curse words, racist or sexist comments, red flags, she says, companies want to know about before the candidates walk into the interview. We're not fishing for bad content. She's also checking how often they're posting on social media. You see that someone posts, you know, three, four, five times a day. You're wondering, well, shouldn't they be working? But just the opposite is also a red flag. If I can't find someone at all, I'm, I'm wondering, you know, is this person who they really are? Dallas-based Fortune 500 company Southwest Airlines hired close to 7,000 people last year, and recruiters use social media to find many of them. Look at your social media from the lens of an employer and say, what would people think about that? State Farm's new North Texas hub at Richardson saw 2,000 new hires in its first year and still has hundreds of empty desks to fill. The company says it uses Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to engage with potential hires before hiring events. You should always be prepared and have a proactive approach to make sure you're uh, keeping in mind that the job field is really competitive and you want to make a positive first impression, whether that's in person or online. Even if your social media footprint isn't so clean, it's not too late to spruce up your online profiles. Hit delete. Delete is your friend. UT Dallas social media professor Janet Johnson says what you share becomes your brand. Do you have a lot of drinking pictures on your profile? Are you cursing on Twitter? Are you complaining about companies? Are you complaining about your boss? Johnson says if you wouldn't show a picture or recite a post to your boss, it shouldn't be out there. One tweet can ruin your life. On deleting old photos and comments will help. Johnson says creating a professional presence on the web will too. Instead of like cutiepie at gmail.com, have a name, Janet Johnson at gmail.com. She says changing privacy settings are an option, but if you're questioning a post, it's best not to hit send in the first place. Data doesn't die. Everyone has a camera phone now that you can easily take a screenshot of anything. Now, experts say the other tip is to create a LinkedIn profile or to start making daily posts that are more professional to put some of those inappropriate posts from the past further down. Duncan Caitlin? Yeah, three people sitting here like, no. delete, delete, delete. Exactly. <laughs> delete. Huh? It's, you know, it's good advice, and the reality is today we thought it was just a problem for our kids, but, man, adults are in this game too it's now. Real. Everybody's got to watch out. It's yep. good advice. Thank Thanks. you. Appreciate it.